Okay, I'm going to show you how um, I record the guitar part on um, the computer. And what I use is the Line 6 Pod Studio, and this is UX1. Um, this is old technology. Uh, there's at least a UX2 out there. Um, but what you have basically, this is the interface um, between your guitar and your computer and you've got a couple different inputs you've got uh, the microphone input here um, guitar input here and this can either go directly to the guitar or if you have a, like a line out line on your amp um, you can run it through here too um, and then this is your headphone jack you've got the output level knob here and you've got a microphone gain output here um, you've also got um, the line you can have line inputs here um, monitor in you've got your USB connection and then your um, line outs so you could actually run this out to an amp and um, play it through there. So that's your input or your interface to the computer. Um, what I'll show you next is the actual pod farm software. Just a brief demo of some of the main features of the pod farm software which is essentially just an amp simulator software and the amps that you see will depend on how many expansion packs you've bought. Um, additional amps um, cost additional that you can get from line six uh, but you can select the amp by going back and forth um, on that bar or get a drop down menu and select the amp that you want when you click on that it'll bring it front and center from there you can drag it down to the bottom section uh, if you go over and click on the panel button that will bring up your volume and gain and tone controls so you can adjust those with your mouse like you would um, on a real amp. Uh, top right there's a cab button which will let you change your cabinet selection. Uh, again get a drop down go and select whatever cab you want. Uh, the center section of the screen is, is really like a room ambience um, where you can pull or push the amp backwards or forwards and within the room to simulate the different distances within the microphone and then you can actually go in and select different types of microphones. Now I'm going to click back on gear and we'll go show, show you how to add in uh, basically like your pedal effects. Uh, we'll go in and add like a fuzz face and just select it, drag it down and it'll automatically get added to your signal chain. Go back up and click panel and that'll bring up the controls for your pedal that you can adjust here using your mouse. Same thing, go back to gear and we'll add in a reverb effect. Select the type of reverb you want, drag it down into your signal chain, uh, then go back to panel and then you can adjust the individual settings of this effect. Also, um, in this software, uh, there's a guitar tuner, so while you have your guitar plugged in, you can switch over and, and tune it here. So these are the main features of this software. Okay, now we're going to look at Ableton Live Lite, which is the multi-track recording software that comes with Pod Studio and there's a couple different views um, when you're using this software you've got the arrangement view and the session view that you can choose by clicking these buttons up here um, first thing I want to show you is the arrangement view and that's kind of a timeline scrolling left or right but to start recording you just pick your track and come over here and arm it by pushing this button and go up to the top bar and arm it and then to start recording just click on the record button 
um, and now you know based on whatever you've done over in the pod farm whether you're using a microphone or your guitar um, you can start playing or singing and start recording uh, to stop recording just click on that button and you've got your track so now you can go rename the track something more meaningful if you want to like vocals or guitar or something like that and if you want to change the color of the bar um, you can go and do that too and record another track um, go in arm that track arm the recording up at the top and then click on the record button and start recording again and you see it starts scrolling side by side so when you get through just click on that stop button and again if you want to rename the track and recolor the track um, you can do that okay so that's the basics of recording now I'm going to switch back over to session view and what I'm going to show you here is by default you've got four audio tracks and four MIDI tracks um, I never use the MIDI tracks so you can right click on those and delete those and then just right click on the bar and you can add in audio tracks uh, the, the light version that comes with this has eight uh, maximum tracks that you can use and it also has some um, effects that you can add into the tracks so for example if track one is your vocals um, you can come over here to the left and pick some of the effects that you might want to put on that track like vocal doubling which I use um, just about all my songs and then once that effect gets in there you can fine tune it um, with all of, the, all of these dials down here So once you've got everything mastered the way you like it, um, the next thing you need to do is um, actually save the file to a WAV format. And you just come in here and select the file name and the range you want to save and just save it as a WAV file and then from there you can either just play it or put it into um, Movie Maker from there.